Hi, in this video, I am going to briefly introduce you to doing animations in Paraview. When you first open Paraview, this is the screen or the user interface that you should see. Now, let's open our beloved cylinder by going to Sources, Geometric Shapes, and then Cylinder. As I stated before, the cylinder is going to show up in the pipeline browser, but you have to hit Apply under Properties to see it. So right now we have a cylinder that looks like a 3D hexagon. And if we adjust the resolution here under properties to 50 and hit apply, the hexagon will change to a cylinder. Let me change the color for you so that it's easier to see. There you go. So for this animation, we want to see the hexagon change into a cylinder. And to do this, we're going to open a few different views. So we're going to open the animation view, as well as the time inspector. Let's change the resolution back to 6. And we have our 3D hexagon again. So to watch this hexagon change into a cylinder, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to modify these um, menus, these drop down menus here and animation view. So our file is cylinder one, which is right here in pipeline browser. And we're not doing capping, we're modifying resolution. And then we're going to hit the plus sign. Now, if you double click on this, what's gonna come up is the animation keyframe. And we wanna go from a resolution of value six to a value of 50, because that's when it turns into a cylinder. 512 is a little too big. And then click apply and then click okay. So in one time step, this resolution is going to go from 6 to 50. Now, in animation view, you can also see a couple of other things. You can see the start time, the end time, and the number of frames, and the stride. So these are the number of frames here. These are actually 10 frames. And in 10 frames, we're going to go from a resolution of 6 to a resolution of 50. So if we go to Time Inspector and hit the Play button, we can actually see the 3D hexagon change into a cylinder in the 10 time frames. But let's say we want to maybe change this to 40 frames. And you hit enter. And Paraview will actually automatically calculate the 40 frames for you. Let's play this again. We can use the toolbars here at the top. We'll go back to the 3D hexagon, hit the play button. And in 40 frames, we now have a cylinder. If you want to save this animation, you can click File, Save Animation, and then choose a location that you have access to and save the animation. I'm going to save it as an AVI file. You have other options to save it as an MP4 file. A JPEG or a ping is only a picture, um, so that won't work but an AVI file is fine and hit OK. Yes, I'm going to replace what I currently have. And you'll see this uh, menu pop up. It says save animation options. We want the quality to be number two to be the best quality. The image resolution looks fine and hit OK. You might see a couple of output messages. As long as there's no errors, you'll be fine. Hit the clear and close it. And now let's open up our file.
So I hope you can see the cylinder media player. I'm sorry, I hope you can see the media player. Let's start the animation from the beginning and hit the play button. And now we can see in the media player in this video what we just saw in Paraview. We're watching the 3D hexagon change into a cylinder. We can stop that and close it. Okay, now the next thing that I want to show you is opening up another file and making some more modifications with these animations. So let's reset this view. The reset session button is up here. And I'm going to remove the animation view and remove the time inspector. Now I'm going to right click in pipeline browser and click open. I'm going to go to where I know I have the file saved and I'm going to open it. It's this can exe2 file. And as I stated previously, to see the file in the 3D view, you have to hit the apply button and it's going to show up. Now I want to view it like this. This is also an animation. And if you play this animation, you can see kind of like half this garbage can get crushed by this brick. Now, for this, we want to make a couple of changes. So let's change the color. And let's open up our animation view again and our time inspector. Now, if we go to real time under time inspector and we, I'm sorry, real time under animation view and we watch this happen in 60 seconds. It actually looks very stilted. It's not very smooth. It's the animation is kind of choppy. So Paraview can actually add filters to help with the choppiness here. Let's pause this. So what you want to do now is you want to select this file here under Pipeline Browser, then go to Filters, Temporal, and the Temporal Interpolator is what we're going to want to open to add some smoothness to this file. And then to compare the view between the temporal interpol interpolator and the original file, we're going to open up a second view. We're going to click on render view. And then we're going to link the images here. So click on the eye so that it shows up. We want this sort of frame. And then we're going to link it here. We right click and hit link camera and then click into this. Uh, window. And then we can go back to the beginning. Let's zoom out a bit. And then hit the play button. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is a little bit smoother than this. If we go to real time, Apparently real time is gonna be depreciated, uh, but we'll use it while we still have it. We go to real time and try and view this can getting crushed in 60 seconds. You'll be able to see it a bit more. So while this is so choppy, this looks very, very smooth. And this is how Paraview can help to apply filters to help with choppiness in a video. Now, let's say you wanna save this animation. You would click on the file, 
let's first pause it. You would click on the file, hit file, save animation, and then go to a folder where you have access and we can just save it. I'm gonna save it as can animation and an AVI. And now if we open up this animation, we should be able to see it. We'll be able to see exactly what it is we have in Paraview. So give me a moment, let me just open that up. And there you have it. Thank you for listening.